Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Veronique and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can get the missing metadata from a SharePoint site. So you may have some document libraries with some required fields and somehow your users didn't actually fill those fields. So that's what we're going to do. And for that, we're going to use PowerShell PNP. So let's do it. Okay, before we deep dive in Visual Studio Code and start creating our script, let's see what we are trying to do. I'm on the site and I have two document libraries. I have the documents document library, which is the default one, and I have the training document library. So in documents, we have a few files and we can see straight away that we are missing some information. So we see this yellow background with required info because the column instructor and number of sessions, this is a required field. If I go into training, we also have some documents and we have a couple of columns, same story, where some fields are also required. So that's what we are trying to do here. Which column actually requires some metadata and we don't have it. Cool. Now let's go into Visual Studio Code and start building our script. The first thing we need to do is to connect to this particular site. So I'm going to run this command so we can interact in the terminal when we are connected. Okay, now we are connected, no problem. Let's give us a space. Now let's pause for a second and think about what we are trying to do. What is actually the logic? So first we need to access the site which we just did. Then we need to loop through all the lists that we have because this script will loop through every single document library that we have and look for some required fields that are missing. In our case, we only have two document libraries, but the principle is the same. So we want to loop through all our lists, then we want to grab all those documents. So we want to loop through all the documents. And then once we have all the documents, we want to look at all the fields. Okay, so that would be the logic for the script. Now let's start by storing the list in the variable. Now what we want to do is loop through each list or library in our case and grab all the documents. So we're going to go through for each. So for each library in all our libraries, then what do we want to do? Well, we want to grab all the items that we have for each library. So we're going to use the get PNP list item and we're going to store that into an over variable. Good. Now our next step would be to loop through each of the documents because now at this stage of the script, we will be inside the libraries and we will have all the items. So let's do an over for each. And now that we are at the document level, we want to look at all the documents where the fields are required. And to do that, we're going to use the get PNP field. We're going to provide our library. And in that case, this would be the variable lib because we are in the loop. And because we are only interested in the fields that are actually required, we're going to scope that straight away. So we're going to do a where object, the property required equals true. But remember, for the next step, we need to grab all those fields because we need to know what they are. What we want to do is to create a custom object so we can gather some values, which column we're talking about. So let's put the results of that command into an over variable. So for each, 
So for each field, in all the required fields, what do we do with those fields? Because we don't want to grab them all. We've already scoped that to only the required fields, which is good. But now we want to know if the value is there or not. So we're going to create a condition. All right, let's talk about what I just wrote in here. And that's if I can actually spell that properly. Internal name. If I look into the variable dog and use the property field values, then I will see all the values that I have for those specific columns. And what I'm doing here is I'm using the field internal name because it would be unique. And so I'll get the correct data. The only thing we have left to do is to create our custom object. And to store the results of the custom object, we're going to need to create an array. So I'm just going to go back up in here. And create a variable results. Now let's do results plus equal our custom object. And get our hash table. So what would I be interested in? Well, I would be interested in the file name, for instance, which would be the doc.fieldValues and the file leafref, which is the file name that PNP is going to give me. Then maybe I'm interested in who created that file, created by. And this time what we need to do is we need to look at the field values, but also look up this value. And this value for who created that document will be the author. We also want what metadata is missing. So let's call it missing metadata and grab the field title. And just for fun, let's grab the location, which would be the file location and that would be our library.title. Let's scroll down a little bit, do a little bit of cleanup. We have too much space in there. And then at the end, we want to see our results. We can also export if we want. So you would pipe this and do an export CSV, for instance. But let's just output this to the console. Let's clear the screen and run our script. And after a few seconds, we finally have our results. So we can see, for example, that the SharePoint training Excel document is missing the number of sessions. Our Power Apps training document is missing the instructor and the number of sessions. And we also have the other documents. So if you export that to a CSV file, then you can start doing your filtering and you can ask whoever created that document to go back into the site and insert that metadata. This is quite important if you're using this metadata for search. For example, if you're using the instructor as a refiner in your SharePoint search. All right, that's it for today. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Take care. Et toi et puis ton cochon